Let's take a look in the glove compartment. Bingo. A man's cigarette case. OB. One of the Baccarini clan? On plates. Someone drove a long way. A car with Vermont. A door in the kitchen. Blocked. The initials OB on a cigarette. One. It has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. Three, the initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. A door in the kitchen, locked. A door in the corridor, in what looks like the bottom of a... Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware. The dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? A door in the kitchen, locked. A door in the corridor, What looks like the bottom of a broken glass. A door in the kitchen. A door in the corridor, jam. It opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen. Smells of whiskey. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining. It seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. The real question is, what happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still in the house? A door in the corridor jammed shut. A door in the kitchen locked from the... One locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors which open onto the same room can't be. Either I'm completely wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. I didn't notice there was a doorbell. Says the man Milton had left in charge of an important investigation. So, 
What can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right, follow me. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Then he pulled his teeth out one by one as he died. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own some, just by looking? More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible. But you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sofia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Maybe. It's hard to say. You're at a crime scene, and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I did it, but I didn't intend to. Driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke. OB. Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father, who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one, opened the safe, and got away with a fortune. 
They don't make jails like they used to. Carlo, I have the goods for OB, but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. Jesus, there's at least a million dollars here. Mm-hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. Probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. All starting to add up, isn't it? Milton! You're doing fine on your own, Mr. Ah! Mills. I believe in you. Killed Baccarini? I was a monster! Oh, get your hands off me, Negro! What was he like? Describe him for me. I, he was a monster. Red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws! It was a monster! A monster! Should I hit him again? You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Who is this money for? Uh, uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, uh, yeah, at the docks, uh, uh, Berth 42, right, right next to where, um, where, where the uh, Allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? Uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow at noon, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, it's going to be tonight. Uh, uh. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. Cops in Santa Esperanza aren't as straight as the cops in Vermont. Even so, I think they'll be delighted to see you at the station. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Okay. 
Okay. Elliot? Ah, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. Hmm. You heard me. <sighs> Don't lie to me, Elliot. Especially not now. No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? I'd love to tell you, but I can't. It's better you don't get involved. You know, don't you? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes time he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? He spent almost 20 years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... Please, no, but thanks. I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um... Come in, Milton, come in. Delphine, I'll tell you later. Now... You said you'd never treat me like that again. I'm glad I could confirm that you're okay. No, and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Seriously, you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't the deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Delphine and I have been friends a long time, and I don't have many friends. I can't risk losing her. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh yeah? What would you do? 
Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me, this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? Yes. I think it was the happiest day of my life. That bastard deserved it. Maybe it was. Cause based on what I've seen, from that day on it went downhill. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. So, everything's gonna work out fine, huh? You sure it's here? Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. This plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. I don't think so. I don't think so. And may I ask why? It's not the first time I've done a job like this. And I never was any good at getting killed. There's a first time for everything, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here. Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> A white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm here to see your boss, so do your job. What did you just say, you freak? Well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, uh, sweetie chops. Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Maybe you can kick me in the balls, but not him. I gelded him myself, like an ox. You can't imagine the kind of strength that gives. He could split your chest with a single headbutt. And anyone else who gets in your way, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity negroes, I see. If he's like that with me, think what he'd do with you. What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. Thank you. 
don't know. Better off not asking. It's supposed to be here. Where's the ship? Looking for someone. We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at Berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? It isn't moored? <laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean. You know that we punish children who behave badly, don't you? 
<laughs> Yesterday, it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh-huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll or the plush toy? Go, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? Today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. You even tried to help Bruno, although in the end you chose, very wisely, to save yourself. We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best? 